Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Last time, we found out where Yuna was, so we headed for Bavel to stop her shotgun wedding. On the way, we found a boss, Evre. So we're going to take on that boss coming up here. Now, you want non-elemental weapons for it, so I've given them to everybody there. It's nice having plus 10 factors for more than uh, just one person. Awesome! Um, other than that, there aren't really any other major preparations. Just make sure you got full HP and MP when you're going in. And, oh, uh, we should probably get a uh, better formation up there. Let's get some of our uh, faster characters up front there. That should be pretty good there. And let's approach. Oh, went too far. <laughs> Now, there are a couple of fights like this in the game uh, that use the unique uh, mechanic of fighting on the airship. Now, you would think we'd be moving too fast for us to be able to stand up there, let alone try and fight. But I guess logic goes out the window. Oh, you've got guns. That's right. So, what are we doing again? If you have all these guns, you can just shoot it to death? We gotta keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away! Y'all have to tell me when to move! Okay. Well, that looks nowhere near as easy as it's actually gonna be. So nimble, you hear? Roger, I'll give the commands! Not alone, you won't. Of course, Titus is going to give the commands, even though he's not really the... Well, gameplay-wise, he's the leader, but story-wise, he's not really the leader. <laughs> anyway, you can use trigger commands to move in and pull back, and you want to do that. But the thing is, if you notice on the uh, right-hand side there, the bottom icon there, that's Sid. If I give the command, it's going to take until he gets his turn before I'm able to, uh, before we're able to execute that uh, command to move in or pull back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a chocobo feather on Titus. Normally I would just cast the spell, but I want to put all of your effort into casting slow. And this guy does have some resistance to it, so it chances are we'll miss. Uh, more than once. I think he's immune to most of those, so I'm not going to worry about that. In fact, I don't think Waka needs to do much of anything. We'll bring in Kamari, and he can steal. We can get a water gem. This guy does a lot of damage, so you need to kind of be careful. Um, so you want to pull back. And then we want to cast slow one more time. Hopefully it goes through. No, it doesn't. Okay, so now we want to bring in Orin. And we're going to use Banishing Blade. It's going to be a trend for most boss fights going forward. If I need to inflict more than one, chances are that's all I'm going to do is just use his overdrive. Since it only takes, you know, maybe five battles to recharge, probably less. And it inflicts all the breaks right then and there. And now, we're going to move further away. Now, the way this guy works, he's going to use two normal attacks, and then he's going to charge up, and then he's going to deliver poison breath if he's close. But if he's too far away, he won't be able to do that. Uh, so let's bring in Lulu. Now, this guy does have all elemental damage, so using elementals on him won't help. Um, and unfortunately, he is immune to Bio. I can't recall if he's immune to Demi or not. He is immune to Demi, of course he is. Okay, uh, so what we'll do is we'll bring Titus back in. He still has haste on him. We'll keep throwing slow. There we go, we hit slow. And then we'll bring in Waka. Waka can throw a ball at the distance there. He does tend to counter when you do attack him with Photon Spray. Sometimes it's a counter, sometimes it's just all he does for his normal attack from a distance. Photon Spray is nothing to worry about, so don't worry. This is it. I'm hitting it with all we got. Now, when uh, uh, Sid gets his turn on the gauge there, when he's far away, he'll do this if he's at a distance. 
So you can you only get three salvos. It doesn't really matter. There's a hit. Uh, I'm not gonna do much with you, so we'll bring in Titus. And what I'll do, nope, no, I don't need to do any more of that. So now we're just gonna cheer up and really just use physical attacks. Kind of the key to this fight of avoiding a lot of the damage that you otherwise would uh, be incurring is to fight at a distance while you're buffing up. And then after you're done buffing, you don't really need to worry too much about uh, taking too much damage because we have potions that we can heal with. No, I don't need to do that. I think I need one more cheer after this and that'll be pretty much everything. You could waste a bunch of overdrives on this guy too if you wanted. But uh, I don't think that's necessary. See so that we buffed up everyone there. He's going to use Photon Spray, and then I'm going to bring in Riku, I think, to, uh, or I can probably do it. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Riku, because if you notice, uh, Sid gets his turn next, and I want to move in. So, let's move in here. Yeah, don't do that. Which you would think would be far more of a risk than you know, trying to do much of anything else up here with this thing going so fast, but... Alright, so now we're close. He still has slow on him, and if we critical, we do lots of damage. Once you bring his HP down, uh, I think it's below 11,000 or something like that, His he starts at 32,000, then he'll cast Haste, and uh, if you use uh, Delay Attacks with... Uh, use delay attacks with uh, Titus there then he will uh, he'll counter with haste but yeah if you have the stats it's really really easy to beat this guy you also have to kind of plan things out and do your buffing kind of earlier and then deal with him after so he's not hitting you but he can use a poison spray which inflicts poison on all your party members uh, after you hit him uh, losing power if you're uh, if he's close and you hit him with three normal attacks or six magic spells, he will counter on his next turn that he would have used a normal attack. Like I said, his attack pattern is normal attack, normal attack, charge for poison breath, then poison breath. He'll choose one of those attacks and use a stone strike or a stone attack where he attacks you and inflicts a slow and petrification. And if you uh, get inflicted with petrification, obviously you're going to have to uh, restore it. But it he'll do that based on a counter and the physical attacks will increase the counter by two magic spells increase it by one once it reaches six no matter what combination it is then he'll use his next attack that would be an attack as something to turn your characters to stone now if you get hit with poison use an albed potion because it cures poison and heals so that's a great choice uh, it also removes petrification so it's a really good ability to have in this fight and for overkilling him, you get two black magic spears, which I believe I am going to make uh, pretty good use of somewhat soon. But yeah, the uh, you don't want to use spells against Evre. Um, you can try and you know rely a lot more on Waka if you're worried about fighting him up close, because he does do a lot of damage. He just doesn't get enough hits off on me to really be afraid. If you've buffed Titus up as much as I have, you shouldn't have any problems with that fight. You can always use more overdrives if you need to as well. Oh, uh, 2,000 is the overkill mark for that guy, by the way. 2,000 HP, not a whole lot. They do a good job of lowering it when we don't have Yuna in the party in case we haven't built anyone up so that we can still get overkills but don't have to worry about, you know, trying to deal 6,000 damage, which you only would be able to deal, you know, with Yuna unless you built up Titus as much as I have. You'll notice that even Orin's overdrive was only doing, like, 4,000 damage. Well... That's either a lot of clergymen or a lot of guards.
the animation for this cutscene is ex well. Is this part of the cutscene or is this part of the, the normal one? Or the normal Are those Pyrefly fireworks? That is pretty cool. I don't know what's causing them. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. These, these are Yevin guys. What, what, what's with all the Machina? Game? You gonna explain that to me? Whoa! Yeah, this is a really cool cutscene. This whole kind of section is pretty cool. I have no idea how they expect this to work. But, uh, sure. Okay. Their shoes must be made out of steel to cause all those sparks. Well, let's just throw all of our party members into a suicide mission. Sounds like fun. Alright, do I get a chance to move myself? I do. First things first. I believe everyone around here is weak to fire, so fire it is. Let's try steel. Oh, I happen to get that one as a random drop, so I'm using that one instead of the other uh, Hawkeye that I had from before. So that's cool. Um, give you a fire strike weapon as well. And that should be everything. Formation, we'll pull out Orn for Riku. And let's take on some of these guards. Now, when you're fighting the warrior monks, there's two different varieties. There's the one with the shotgun and the one with the flamethrower. The shotgun hits one party member and does less damage than this guy does uh, with his flamethrower. And his flamethrower hits all party members. So you want to kill him first. Uh, you can get a rare purifying salt from them. I think normally you get high potions. Um, I'm going to leave the, uh, them both alive here just so that I can show you uh, both of their attacks. Other than that, try and always kill these guys first, the uh, flamethrower guys, because they do a lot of damage. Oh, I'm getting more purifying salts. So yeah, that did like 500 damage. And that does 500 damage to everyone except for, you know, people who have protection against it. Let's use an Albed potion there. And have Titus finish off that one. And bring in Lulu. You can use Lulu to one-shot them as well. They have no weaknesses or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Bring in Orn to do nothing. Or Rocket to do nothing, sorry. Yeah, that does only 200 damage. That's not really all that much. And then you can finish it off. I think, I think 2100 damage exactly is what you need to uh, overkill those guys. Prism Steel. I don't actually know what that is off the top of my head. Oh! That's a rare drop. Well, um... Okay. Interesting. That That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever got that as a drop before. Mm, do, 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 do. do I need to heal anybody? Yeah, I guess I should probably heal Riku. And then... Get some of the faster characters in. Don't want Lulu in there. Stay right there, Seymour! You can steal uh, remedies from these guys, which is nice. Now, the downside to this is you don't want to kill these guys uh, or all of the uh, these guys and leave this guy left because when he is left he'll use thrust kick will eliminate one of your characters from battle so you definitely don't want that we do want to hit him but not too hard if he's not alone he'll never use thrust kick unfortunately that means we're going to get hit a little more from that we can steal remedies from the uh, mechs by the way and let's see here. Before we do anything else, bring in Kamari. 
and have him use... I was going to use one of his overdrives, but nah, whatever. Use Lancet, learn Thrust Kick for yourself. You can knock an enemy out of battle with that, so there's that option if you want to. Uh, all the mechs here, there's a, a second one as well, will be weak to fire. So you can use fire for an overkill on them. Or not. Because you should be using Titus. Yeah, usually you get two high potions. I guess you can get purifying salts as well. Uh, let's see. Waka had a turn. Titus had a turn. And I want Orn to be killing somebody. Uh, not enough damage. But uh, I want him to be killing at least one of them per fight so that he can build up his overdrive again. Oh, I should probably do a little bit of healing. Or not. That's fine, too. More soldiers. If you go over here and try and talk to some of the other guys, you don't get anything for it. No battles or anything like that. More the same. This one should have a different uh, guy in there. There he is. The one other uh, unique guy around here. <laughs> Kill you real quick. Uh, when the uh, that mech is in the back row like that, uh, you'll have to uh, kind of make do with uh, not being able to hit him with anything except for walk his ball, but he'll also be able to uh, hit all of your party members, I think, with pretty much every attack, so. Once you move up close, I think he has lesser chance to hit both of your characters and higher chance of hitting only one like that, so that would be preferable. You can steal remedies from this guy as well. And he's also weak to... Oh, you can also get ethers from them. Sure, that's fine too. As well as uh, remedies. They're weak to uh, both uh, fire and water. Titus will do lots of damage to this guy. Now, is that everybody? Did Lulu do anything? I think I had them in at the Allow start me. of the fight. I don't... I can't recall if... I uh, actually got a chance to do anything. So that's the the one attack. The other one will he'll shoot twice and it'll hit all of your uh, party members there. So anyway, we'll just kill him. Be done with it. Kind of wish he used his other attack, but I guess not. All right, some phoenix downs there, and after five battles, then we can continue on with the cutscene and get shot at. This has gone far enough. Don't try and get yourself killed. That's not going to help anything. We're being held at gunpoint. This was not a very good plan. Too many of them. And of course, it's not, uh, you know, in battle. So one of those gunshots will kill me. Hey, where were you hiding that? Maybe the same pause place that uh, Cloud in Final Fantasy 7 hides that buster sword. Pocket dimension. Up his ass. One of the two. Limitless backpack, maybe? Though she's not wearing one. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Yeah, apparently. Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely one. You creepy little bastard. Stop! Wait, what? Do you not value your friends' lives? Aren't you supposed to be like the leader of Yevon? What kind of reaction your is that? Your actions determine their fate. I guess they Protect did attack them. Yevon, so he would or want to... Away. You know, stop them from the doing it. choice is yours. But do you think he just saw... Those pyreflies erupting from Seymour, indicating that, you know, he's dead? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's a cool looking dress. I think that's just her base weapon. I don't think that's the weapon, because that's not the weapon I have her equipped with at this point. So I think that's just like the first one that she has at the start of the game. You are wise.
I like the use of facial expressions here. It's very much, you know, there's no no real dialogue, but the facial expressions are doing all the storytelling we need them to do. And I haven't seen them animate a good kiss in a JRPG using CG. Not a word is spoken, and all the emotion that's necessary is portrayed. Killed him. And then he decides to be an asshole. Son of a bitch. I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There's a good point. There are exceptions. Why are you shaking so much? Do you just not want to kill your friend, or is that just bad animation? No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. You're threatening to jump. How is that detriment to them? Other than Seymour, I guess, but... I guess it doesn't show very well on the church. So maybe that's it. Maybe it was all, you know, to make Seymour specifically call them off. It's a rather odd scene, and I don't Leave now, really please. understand it. You're coming with us. Yeah, so... Don't worry. Go. What? This is we should foolish. all be able to walk out now. If you fall, now. you'll die. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry. I can fly. Oh, God, she went crazy in the meantime, Joy. Believe. Now, the thing is, she threatens to jump if they're not freed. Then before they get away, she jumps. The logic of this game is completely flawed here. Why would you do that? Feathers? Just because your dress had feathers doesn't mean you can fly. But I guess if you have an Aeon that can fly, that would work. That would work. Kind of a painful way to uh, fall, but... It looked like the Aeon was stationary when she hit it, which basically would have killed her, but I guess Cover your eyes. the Aeon was descending as uh, she landed to reduce the impact. What, what was that? An all bed flash bomb! Let me go! I'm gonna kill that Seymour! Sounds like a good idea. Yuna said leave. We leave. Kamari's got a good we'll plan. Join up with her later. Oh? Break through. Ah. Ah. Well, Where that was go? interesting. The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! Yep. We all know what this means. It's time for the worst of all of it's the temples. The worst cloister a in trap. the game. Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us. And it sucks. Huh? Oh. What's a Machina doing in the temple? Oh. I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean. The teachings. What about the teachings? Hey, don't look at me. Well, that's... So they're using weapons. Uh, you can... I think you can try and walk down, but you just go and approach that, press a button, and... It does it for you. Thank God for that. I did not want to go down that many sets of stairs. Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. Apparently. <sighs> now... Walk has been like dirt. a complete jackass, for lack of a better term, for quite some time now. But you can see 
things are starting to fall apart for him at this point in the game. The entrance to the trials. All right. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Well, where else would she have Let's gone? Let's go and see. She would have been Let's smart go. to run away in general, but then I guess we couldn't have gotten the Aeon. Now, this is the fourth one in a row that is completely missable. If you don't pick it up now, you can never get it. So, anyway, we got that one. We got a save point. Next time, Cloister of Trials. And I'm not exaggerating. It is the most tedious, most annoying one in the game. And we have to do it. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.